it's alright I wanna kick it with you all night, all night Have a good time Ain't gotta worry cause it's alright, it's alright All night, all night, all night, baby What's going on guys, Siobhan here back with yet again another phone comparison video And today instead of the Galaxy Note 8 We'll be taking a look at the iPhone 10 versus the Google Pixel 2. And it might sound crazy because the price differences are largely separated, but these two phones are amazing. And I think it's worthy of a review and a comparison between the two if you were thinking about buying one or the other. So the major differences between the two is this has Face ID, this has a fingerprint scanner. To me, those are the major differences. And also the screen, the iPhone 10 has a larger screen and the Pixel 2 Two has a more condensed screen but without any further ado guys let's get in depth into the review and yeah let's get started so to kick things off guys the iPhone 10 is one of the most expensive and futuristic phones of the year but it also has some competition notably from the pixel lineup and today we're gonna specifically look at the pixel 2 it's Google's latest stab at the pure Android flagship markup. It's cheaper than the iPhone 10 right now on sale at 849 Canadian dollars plus tax, while the iPhone 10 is still at 1,319 Canadian dollars plus tax. The Google Pixel 2 is a phone which builds and at least on paper improves on the original Google Pixel, but has it done enough to compete with Apple's forward looking iPhone? To help answer that question, I'll show you the many similarities and differences between the Pixel 2 and the iPhone 10. In this video, I compared the design, the display, the power, the camera, the battery, and the price of these two phones. Both the iPhone 10 and the Google Pixel 2 have glass on their backs, but while the rear of the iPhone 10 is all glass, on the Pixel 2, there's just a strip of glass at the top, while the rest of the back is metal. That gives it a two-tone effect, while the iPhone 10 is all in one color on the rear. The sides of both phones are metal, but their fronts are very different, as while the iPhone 10 is almost all screen with the controversial notch at the top. The Pixel 2 has a quite large bezel above and below the screen that holds the two amazing front facing speakers. To keep it 100 with y'all guys, I really love how the iPhone 10 feels in the hand man, especially when I just wash my hands and I grip the naked iPhone, it just feels like it's glued into my hands. The Google Pixel 2 also has a nice comfort in the hand but it's more slippery on the back and it also feels cheaper because of that metal kind of touch they finalize the product to it. I know it's built with metal, but it has a plasticky feel on the back of the phone. Other differences include their weight. The Google Pixel 2 coming in at 143 grams, while the iPhone 10 is at 174 grams, maybe due to all that glass and stainless steel. And also their color schemes are different as the Pixel 2 comes in a variety of colors, such as black, white, black and white, blue, while the iPhone 10 is only in space gray and silver. I was just thinking though, imagine a product red iPhone 10. I think that would just really look sick, like a red glass iPhone 10. I was just thinking about it, that I just thought it would really look sick. Hopefully Apple does it. There are also some similarities though. Neither phone has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, for example, and they're both IP67 certified dust and water resistant, meaning that they can be submerged for up to one meter deep for 30 minutes. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the display. This is one of the biggest differences between the Google Pixel 2 and the iPhone 10, as well the Google Pixel 2 has a 5 inch 1080p AMOLED display, the iPhone 10 has a 5.8 inch Super Retina AMOLED screen. So that means the display technology is similar, but the screen on the iPhone 10 is a lot higher in resolution and it's also physically larger than the Pixel 2. But keep in mind the price of the Pixel 2. So for me, I'm not gonna complain here of what I'm getting. Both has an amazing screen display. You also get true tone with the iPhone 10, which is a feature that automatically adjusts the white balance of the display based on the surroundings. Both the Pixel 2 has always on display, meaning it could stay partially lit up at all times, showing important stuff like notifications and the time. 
cleverly, the always on display can even identify songs that are playing around you without even you have to be asking or using third party applications like Shazam. That's something I really wish the iPhone 10 has, but this just goes to prove how many features the Pixel 2 already has over the iPhone 10 coming in at just 800 bucks. Now you've been wondering like Siobhan what about watching videos on these two devices which one would you recommend? Now let's get started onto that one. Consuming media in landscape mode on either devices is not always the best experience. Why? Because the Pixel 2 the image quality is not that sharp and also the screen is just really small because of those huge bezels while the iPhone 10 picture quality is way better than the Pixel 2 and also sharp and more color accurate. To utilize the entire screen has a negative effect because the notch really gets in the way and yes you will notice the notch so most times i'm watching videos it's always at the same size as the pixel 2 which is five inches now let's run on to the operating systems and the performance levels with these operating systems the pixel 2 runs android oreo while the iphone 10 of course runs ios 11 iOS is much same on all Apple handsets, though it's slightly tweaked on the iPhone 10 to add gesture controls in place of the home button. I already made a full review on the iPhone 10 and all the new things you should know about it. So if you really want to see that video, I'll have it linked up here on the top right of the corner. You can go ahead and check it out. It's almost at 10k views and almost at like 300 likes. So go and check that out real quick. Android meanwhile can vary quite a lot between the handsets but with the Pixel 2 you get a stock version so it's as Google intended. Though there's one notable addition from the Google Pixel 2 and it's in the form of Active Edge which is Google's calling off the squeezable sides on the Pixel 2. It's a lot like the feature we've seen on the HTC U11 and it allows you to launch Google Assistant by simply squeezing your phone. I know it sounds funny but it actually works really well and I like it and you can also have stuff like you squeeze it and it silence notifications and a lot more features you could check out deep in the settings. The closest thing iPhone 10 comes to that is 3D touch which lets you like respond to phone differently depending on how hard you press on the screen. In my test though both operating systems are polished and are clutter free at least until you fill your phone up with apps. Both handsets should also get new updated software versions on their respective operating systems as soon as they are available. Internally the differences should be less noticeable though. The Google Pixel 2 has an octa-core Snapdragon 835 chipset and 4 gigs of RAM. That just sounds aggressive, I know, because the iPhone 10 only has the A11 Bionic chipset with just 3 gigs of RAM. Both are blazing fast though, and also Apple claims that the fastest chip in a smartphone is the A11 Bionic chipset, and because of the Geekbench scores, that proves it as well. However, in a real world usage, both of these phones are likely to feel very slow. So you're gonna have two fast performance devices in your hand. Now let's talk about one of the major differences between the two and it's Face ID versus the fingerprint scanner. Biometric security is worth highlighting as it's one of the main features of the iPhone 10. Specifically, the phone has a facial recognition system called Face ID, allowing you to unlock your phone just by looking at it. There's a lot of tech involved and a lot of many features that Face ID comes with and Apple claims that it's both reliable and secure. It's for sure not 100% reliable because the Face ID does not work 100% of the time. I could only get Face ID to work 80% of the time. I really wish the iPhone 10 had a fingerprint scanner on the side or something like that because the Face ID doesn't always work but when it does work, it works well. The Pixel 2 doesn't have all that fancy Face ID technology but what it does have is the handy dandy fingerprint scanner on the back of the device. Thank God it isn't on an awkward position place like <coughs> The fingerprint scanner works really fast when unlocking the Pixel 2. It always gets the job done way faster than the method on the iPhone 10 because the Face ID is just really slow unlocking compared to the Pixel 2's fingerprint scanner. But at the end of the day, the choice could well and come down to whether you'd rather have something futuristic or stick to something familiar that you're used to. Now guys, another thing 
it might be a shock to you is the camera quality on these two things and also a little bit about the battery life. While the Google Pixel 2 has a 12 megapixel rear facing camera coming out at f1.8 the single lens camera that's alone the iphone 10 has a 12 megapixel dual lens setup with the same f.18 in one lens and a f.24 lens for the second camera both phones support optical image stabilization but the extra lens on the iphone 10 grants it some extra tricks including optical zoom and the ability to focus on the foreground while blurring the background to create this bokeh effect around the front of the pixel 2 it's an 8 megapixel camera while the iphone 10 has a 7 megapixel one but thanks to its facial scanner, the iPhone 10 again has some additional tricks up its sleeves, such as being able to bring emoji to life and have them imitate your facial expression and speech. But don't think the Google Pixel 2 doesn't have some tricks up its sleeve as well. You might look at the Google Pixel 2 camera and you're like, how the hell could this thing do anything special, Siobhan? Well, this camera uses software and AI to create the same effect that the iPhone 10 does. It's called bokeh so with software engineering the pixel 2 even does a better job than the iphone with two cameras to create those bokeh effect and also with the front facing camera you could create portrait mode shots just like the iphone and it does a way better job but i still prefer the iphone's front facing camera because the pixel 2 has the sharp image quality on the front facing camera which i'm not really a fan of But don't get too excited there. When it comes down to video, the iPhone 10 kicks the Pixel 2 out of the park for me. The iPhone 10 has a shocking 240 frames per second slow motion beauty and also a crazy 4K 60 frames per second option. Not even most high-end mirrorless cameras or DSLR cameras has those modes to play around with. So don't get it twisted here guys. The iPhone 10's camera is also a beast. For the battery life, you get a 2700 mAh one in the Google Pixel 2, supposedly lasting or offering all day life, and the iPhone 10 has a larger one, 2716 mAh, and the two phones have almost identical size batteries, but the iPhone 10, remember, has a larger screen to pour, so it may well not as last as long depending on how you use it. I did a complete battery test between the iPhone 10 and the Google Pixel 2, so if you want to see how that went down, I'll have it linked up here in the top right hand corner and also at the end of the video, or you could check down the in the description as well. Now, it's basically the end of the video and it's time to wrap things up to get my thoughts all together and give my last impressions on these two phones. While the Pixel 2 will likely be one of iPhone's 10 main competitor, these two phones are actually quite different. Obviously they run different operating systems, but beyond that, the iPhone 10 is a larger and arguably a more forward thinking phone with a price tag to match that. To be honest guys, I wouldn't feel too bad using the Google Pixel 2 over the iPhone 10. Remember, it's only 849 Canada dollars right now. It has a great if not a better rear facing camera the battery life is good the speakers are amazing you get google assistant with all the amazing features you get the google lens you get the fast charging of the box and right now if you purchase the google pixel 2 before the end of christmas you'll also get a free google home mini all of that just for 849 Canadian dollars while with the iphone priced at 1319 dollars you get the phone iOS, the headphones, wireless charging built in, a standard charger, it's nothing too major from the older iPhones. The iPhone camera is good, but even the Pixel 2 camera outshines the iPhone 10's camera in most scenarios. Then again, they're both high-end phones with premium designs and lots of power. So assuming they live up to their potential, it's unlikely that either of these phones will let you down anytime soon. Now, that's my review of the iPhone 10 versus the Google Pixel 2. As you can see, in my opinion, I think the Pixel 2 is done amazing for its price point, apart from the bezels. It doesn't look too 2017, but it's well worth the purchase 
for the iPhone 10 is just not enough features for the price tag. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below, sub if you loved it. And always guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.